out of the darkness, the zombie did cause. Hello and welcome back. <laughs> so, today is uh, package day again. <laughs> so, uh, this time, uh, as you can see, it's uh, Zombie Lock sent me a, uh, a wonderful heavy, heavy package. So, uh, and I do know uh, he said he was sending me a bunch of stock locks to turn into challenge locks. I'll tell you what, if it weren't for him, uh, I wouldn't be able to make as many challenge locks as I've made. Uh, he, is, he has been one of the... <laughs> best guys at sending me uh, uh stock locks to turn into uh into into challenge locks and and i just absolutely appreciate it so uh and he's also sent me some really kick butt stuff i think i've done more trading with zombie than uh than anybody else so um it's much appreciated man thank you before i even opened that package um also uh just a uh a side note, um, if you don't, if you haven't watched Zombie's uh, videos, go watch his videos. He's an excellent picker. Um, but also, uh, he's doing a giveaway for his uh, 300th uh, video. Uh, and uh, he's giving away one of the uh, uh, practice lock kits uh, made by Steel Pinnings and uh, Bobby Keys. So, um, if you, if you, uh, when you get done watching this video, go watch his videos. Go, go check it out. Um, actually, I think they're giving away those kits on a couple different channels. I know Bobby's giving away one on his channel. Um, Steel Pinnings is giving away one on his channel. Uh, Lock Picking Lawyer is giving away one, uh, one on his channel. And Zombie is giving away one on his channel. So, uh, go, go check those guys out. Uh, if you're new to picking, uh, I know there's a lot of new pickers out. Um, go check out their channels and, uh, and uh, see if you can win one of those uh, practice kits because it's a really, really good idea for a uh, for a practice lock. So, at any rate, let's uh, let's see what what Zombie uh, sent me here. I just figured I'd throw that out there. I know Zombie's giving away one of those kits for his uh, 300th uh, video celebration. So, and congratulations, Zombie, on your 300th video, man. That's that's kick ass. So, um, wow. Holy crap. He said he was going to put all the stock locks in uh, in a bag for me. So, um, wow. We've got a lot of them. That's good. Uh, good schleg and good bidding on that, too. Wow. That's nice. A nice, heavy, heavy cylinder. I'll make a good challenge lock. So, that'll be great. Um, let's see. We got a lorry. Lorries are always good. Really good locks. And, of course... I don't know if he sent a key with it or not, but that's okay. I don't need one. <laughs> um, another Callan. That's awesome. Callan's uh, uh, kind of a quick set, but um, um, they make really good challenge locks. Um, I had one of those before. A no-name kind of almost looks like a Lockwood key. Wow. That's um, eh, a quick set keyway, though. So um, I don't know what that, uh, what that key is. Hmm. Either a rust one or a quick set key, but that is almost a almost a quick set keyway though. All right, what else we got here? Uh, Yale. All right, good deal. A another Yale with a really cool key. Neat. All right, and wow, that's kind of a cool keyway. That's not quite your normal Yale style keyway, so that'll be good. Good challenge lock out of that one. A, another Schleg, which I love Schlegs for, for uh, challenge locks. There are lots of fun. And this is actually a kick cylinder uh, holder, too. Ah, I don't know. I may turn the kick into a into a, oh, into a uh, into a uh, challenge lock, but I might keep the holder because I, I gave him one of my other ones that I had. And uh, I think I've got one. Oh, wow. That's a key and knob I haven't seen in a while. That's right out of the doorknob. <laughs> that's, a, that's a quick set. Um, it's like a, another lorry. So that'll be good. And uh, another uh, Yale. All right. I like these Yales too. They're good, nice, tight keyways for people <laughs> to, to, to when you turn them into channel locks, challenge locks. So really good stuff there, man. Uh, thank you for... Um, all these, they'll be really good challenge locks. So, looking forward to that. Um, see what else he's got in here. I 
get this dumped out. Try to spare you guys some time here. Hanging up in there. What is that? Another channel. Okay. All right. So, looks like we've got a lot of challenge locks, I think. So, that's good. Love me some challenge locks. Um, let's start with that. What's that? A no name. All right. That looks like a Russ one. Um, almost our, yeah, almost a, a Russ one or a Lockwood key. <laughs> wow. Anyway, it's uh, pinned by West Coast Picks. So, um, that's always fun. He makes some great challenge locks. Um, just amazing. Love his pick. Love his uh, locks. They are great. Love his picks too. He, he sends me, sent me those, uh, uh, quick picks as well as one of his, um, uh, retro picks. Uh, looks like we got a lock brass here. All right. I have not picked a lock brass yet. This is an M tech. The ones with the really cool keys. Um, pretty good bidding on that too. I'll be all right. Forward to that. Works really smooth. Let's see here. Uh, another West Coast pick. Say uh, an arrow. All right. It's uh, sticky as I'll get out. Wow, that's going to be fun. Um, pretty good bidding there. Got a low and some highs behind it. So forward to that one. That'll be good. What do we got here? <laughs> another Texas gem. <laughs> I've I've picked a lot of his locks, um, <laughs> but hey, you know they're they're usually pretty good locks, so that'll be all right. Um, okay, I see this already, and it's got me curious. I got a euro here, and of course it's a dimple. Wow, look at the keys on uh, cuts on that key. Um, pretty good, nice paracentric keyway there too. So that'll be awesome. What is this a uh, Gerda? I have not picked a Gerda dimple before, so that'll be good. And that's smooth. That's actually real smooth. That'll be fun. Um, looks like it's just a uh, sta uh, regular, it's not a pin and pin, so that'll be good. Uh, may, may be able to get into that one a little quicker. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? A, uh, a Prevost? A Prevost? Um, by Lock Brass, another Lock Brass. All right. Um, like I said, I haven't picked one of his. I'm guessing this key goes to this because everything else has keys in it. Um, Faultless by Tin Man 13. All right, good deal. I got another one of his from um, um, uh, Red Eye the other day. So, and I've not picked that yet. I haven't. Uh, I haven't. Use a shim when gutting. Of course, it's a challenge lock. Um, but faultlesses are always really good, too. So that'll be great. I, I imagine this probably slid in there. Um, see, a Mullen uh, by Den Brass. Okay. Good deal. Uh, Yale style keyway. That'll be fun. Y1. Um, and another Texas gem. And this is an LSDA. Okay, and yeah, pretty good bidding on it too. All right, um, where are we at? Eight minutes? Holy crap! This video got away from me. Um, you know what? I can't do it. I, I have to go ahead and pick one out of the box. Um, just gonna be a long video, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, I think it's just way more true to the style of picking that I do if I pick something out of the package. Um, you know, I I. Every time you guys see me grab a lock, unless I tell you otherwise, it's the first time I've picked it. First time I've stuck a pick in it. Um, I, I try to keep it as real as possible. You know, Red Eye always says that, keep it real. Um, you know what? I'll just grab the first one. So that's uh, this uh, Mullen by Den Brass. Uh, here's the bidding on the key. Um, you know, I just try to keep it as real as possible for you guys. Um, I, I, I think that's the, the, the only way my channel works is if, if I, I just be me and do it the way I do it. So long videos, but you know what? They're as real as you get. So let's see. Yale style Kiwi. Ah, I wonder if I can use my 40. Should be able to use my 40 in that. No. That's even tighter than a normal Yale, uh, or it's a Y1, but it's of my 30,000s. I'll fit in there. 
challenge lock. Uh, let's use my gem in 15,000. That way I can get a good, uh, good feel for everything. Let's zoom in for you guys. And also because I have that kind of somewhat parasitic keyway. Um, start from the bottom and start from the back of the lock. See what we get here. Um, I don't know why I even bother starting. Okay, I got a little bit on the back of that. Something on five, I believe. I think this is a five pinner. Could be a six. Um, I, I don't know why I start on the bottom because I always end up hopping up on this ledge every time. So, um, but usually it's good to catch any kind of low hanging fruit that way. You know, those low low pins. Okay, I'm getting. Okay, I had counter on five and got some good rotation. Went to kind of a false set there. Let's see here. One. Okay, I think I got him set. I think I heard something else drop though. Three just gave me a good uh, rotation on the core there. I still got a pretty good false set. There it is. Open on four. Okay, it's picked. Um, pretty good little lock there. That was, was kind of fun. Um, let's zoom out and uh, see what Den Brass put in this lock. So this is my first Den Brass lock, so that'll be fun. Um, let's see what I've seen a lot of his uh, locks. Uh, you know, he sent some to Bosnian Bill. Um, he sent uh, Zombie, uh, Red Eye. He sent them to a lot of people, so... Um, we make some really good looking pens too, so, let's see here, let's get this gutted, uh, clip, 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 let's see here, screwdriver, I do have a key, so if I lock it back up, it's not the end of the world, but that e-clip came off pretty darn easy, so that was good. Um, I didn't feel any craziness, but I am going to shim it anyway, being that it is a challenge lock. Turn it like that. Shim out of there. Yeah, there we go. got a good shim in there. And pins are up. There we go, and it is a five pinner. Um, and the pins are in and working here. There we go. <laughs> I already see some craziness. Got a T pin, key pin, and uh, looks like two and four. That's focusing pretty good. Uh, there we go. You can see those. Let's get these dumped out and get a closer look at the core here. I can see that he threaded some of those chambers. Wow, that's a that's a serrated pen. My God. Okay, in the uh, <laughs> in the plug, looks like we have uh, threading in all five chambers. Come on, focus for me. There we go. Um, focus. All right. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Yeah, they're threaded in all five chambers. And uh, there we go. Nice deep threads too. Good looking, good looking threads on that man. Um, let's see what the magic is upstairs. Get your shim out of the way. Ooh, beautiful spool. Beautiful serrated spool. Um, another serrated spool. A T pin serrated uh, spool kind of thing there. Really good. Yeah, that's a really good looking pen, man. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, looks like we had another T pen. Wow, that thing's awesome. Good looking pens, man. Lock Brass uh, is making some really good, uh, really good pens. What this one say? This one says Den Brass. Den Brass, Lock Brass, it's all the same. Uh, Dennis Brassard. He, uh, 
he kind of changed his name back and forth. Had two channels there for a bit too. Um, but um, all the same guy and uh, makes some really good looking pins and looks like he's making some pretty fun locks. This is my first one, so I really can't speak to it much. I'm trying to get these springs out because they're all different. Every one of them is different. There we go. And then up in the uh, Bible, it looks like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all of them are threaded again. Um, let's see, maybe I can get this to, to work where you guys can see it a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys are seeing that or not. I know my, my camera does suck. Or, well, my light sucks with my camera. So. Uh, but at any rate. Um, so all the chambers were threaded in the Bible, all the chambers were, uh, chambers were threaded in the, uh, in the core. So, uh, as for the pins, amazing, great looking pins here, man. Um, uh, looks like we had a serrated in one, a serrated spool in, t uh, for the uh, driver and a copper spring. Uh, in two, we had a T-pin key pin that was serrated and a serrated slash spool um, there in two with a steel spring. Uh, key pin number three is actually that way. Yeah, is heavily, heavily serrated. Um, good, sharp, nice looking serrations in that to catch on that. A T-pin serrated spool in three with the uh, driver with a copper spring. Uh, had a T pin key pin, nice, nice shallow there, or you know, nice uh, sharp uh, key uh, T pin key pin, and then uh, on top of that had a T pin uh, serrated spool with a very small spring, um, and then in five we had a serrated and a serrated on top of that for the uh, driver with a steel spring for that. So, um, awesome, awesome locks. Thank you, Den Brass, for making it. Zombie, thank you for all of these locks, man. Uh, like I said, go check out his channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and don't break the law.